Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Rahul and in this video we shall be talking about CTF challenges and some of the resources that you could use while playing CTFs. So let's begin. So first let's look at the definition of a CTF challenge. A CTF challenge is a special kind of competition which is designed to challenge its participants to solve computer security problems. Well, you might be wondering that why should we play CTFs and how could it be beneficial to you? So let's talk about it. Well, learning is not enough. So you have to actually execute a concept that you have learned and you can easily do it with the help of a CTF challenge. The second is sharpening your hacking skills. You get all sorts of challenges beginning from web pen testing, cryptography, reverse engineering and even pawn. And the third is get recognized. Well, you might not know this, but many organizers of CTF challenges not only give away vouchers, but cash prizes and even job opportunities to the CTF players. Further, you can even participate in teams and get to meet new people from the same domain and learn more. For example, this is a snapshot from the website called Secure Bug. It recently organized a CTF challenge and it was giving away these prizes to the top CTF players who managed to solve all the CTF challenges within the specified period of time. So now that we have talked about what CTFs are and how they can be beneficial to you, let's talk about the first resource that could prove beneficial to you. So the first one is CTF 101. Well, you can look it up as a beginner's guide. You can learn about all the topics which are covered in a CTF challenge from this website. So let's go on to the website. It is called ctf101.org. So this is CTF's 101 website. So all the topics have been divided into five categories ranging from forensics, cryptography, web exploitation, reverse engineering and binary exploitation. For example, if I open up forensics category, it will take me to a new page where each topic will be divided into subtopics. For example, file formats, exif data, wireshark, technography and disk imaging. Let's talk about the second resource which is CTF time. There are plenty of CTF challenges coming each and every day. So it can become pretty hard to keep track of all of them. So CTF time is one of those websites which tell you about the CTF challenges that are currently active or will be active in the upcoming weeks. Let's visit CTF times website. It is ctftime.org. So as of now, secure bug CTF is currently active. And here is the list of some of the CTF challenges that will be active in the upcoming weeks. The third resource that we'll be talking about is CyberChef. So this is your first go to tool to solve challenges regarding the encryption, encoding, compression and data analysis. So let me give you a quick walkthrough of the website. So let's type in CyberChef. So this is the website. You can not only access it online, but you can even download its instance from its own website. You can see the download CyberChef button over here. You can actually go ahead and download it. If I type in Hey, I can search from a list of operations that the CyberChef provides me. For example, Base64. This will convert it into Base64. I can even convert it back to the original format. For example, if I type in Base64, I have already converted it to Base64. So from Base64, we'll alter it. So there it is. Besides bases, there are a lot of operations that you can perform. For example, you can perform rot 13, you can convert a string to hex and vice versa. You can even perform hashing, compression and much more. The fourth resource that we shall be talking about is Box Intrigue. So this is similar to CyberChef, but with an exception that is a feature that helps you analyze the ciphers. So many a times you'll be given ciphers and it might not click to you at that point of time that which cipher it is. So Box Intrigue provides you with a handy way to find out which cipher it is. So let's type in analyze cipher. And the first website that it will be providing you with is box intrigue. So you can actually go ahead and paste the cipher text that has been provided to you. And it will show you a list of ciphers that the text matches with. So it will actually help you find out which cipher it is and which will make your work a lot easier. The final one we'll talk about is crack station. So it is an online utility to help you crack password hashes. As we all know that tools like John the Ripper and Hashcat are a bit resource hungry tools. They require higher computation power and RAM. So CrackStation is an alternative to it. Let's type in crackstation.net and it will take you to the CrackStation's website. So all you have to do is paste in the hash over here and click on I'm not a robot. Remember that the hash should not be a salted one. So it will not help you with salted hashes. So for example, let's use CyberChef to calculate 
a hash value of the input here. Let's press on the hashing button and let's calculate the MD5 hash of A. So this is the MD5 hash of A. Let's copy it and paste it to CrackStation's website. Click on Envato Robot and press on Crack Hashes. It will provide you with the result A and the type of hash that was used which was MD5. As you can see that I used an MD5 hash. So this is it for the video guys. Thank you. If you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such content. Thank you.